asked, well, I asked it today. There wasn't one grower at that meeting last night that could tell me where the roots get their food from. All of them said the soil. None of them even gave a thought about that shoot growth during this time of year needing sugars to grow. When they grow is after harvest. At the time that the Chardonnay has its birth of shoot growth. Now how much doggone food are those roots going to get after harvest of Chardonnay if that shoot is growing? The food's going to stay in the shoot. It's not going down to feed the roots. So here, not only are your roots getting screwed over with that shoot growth in a Chardonnay at the time that they want to grow, but your wood is not getting filled with sugar. In fact, if you've got enough new leaves, they could take more sugar out of your vine than they're contributing, just like they do to the asparagus. And the asparagus is kind of interesting because the first shoot growth puts sugar into your crown. The second shoot growth in that fern is about 50-50, and the third shoot growth actually removes sugars from your crown. Just think of that vine now. You got the original shoot growth, which is bad enough. Now you got all those little confounded leaves coming out next to a big leaf. And that whole thing of IA is cascading in that vine, not only keeping the sugars that the leaves made out there in those new leaves, but theoretically actually being able to pull sugar back out of the wood. Is it any wonder we have restricted spring yellows on some of those vines? And it's going to be the vines with the lousy root growth is the ones that's going to lose most of their sugars. Now, if we want to have some fun, go out in your Chardonnays, and about 30 days before dormancy, 45 days, just hit them with your shot of nitrate balancer and spin them around in a circle, six or seven liters per hectare. And see if that sprayed area has spring yellows. Or if you got a guy that wants to do more work, he can put out, you know, two liters every 14 days. But I don't think it's going to take that. What our job is, starting about 45 days before dormancy, is to start knocking that sugar back in the wood and keeping that new growth from coming out. So when, as we approach dormancy, more of the sugar will move into the wood. Guys, we're missing a bet. We're draining that wood. We're letting those vines have most of the sugar. We're not getting it back in the wood. Now, if that ain't bad enough, we cut them off and tote that sugar off the field. Just like those guys did those asparagus spears. I'm not, probably, I'm not quite certain, in my mind, that the control of shoot growth after harvest might be more important to that plant than the control of shoot growth while the fruit's on the plant. Especially the but if I'm right to a big extent on Chardonnay, it's going to occur to some extent on other varieties. Oh, yeah. The thing that's interesting is this. Once we kind of get our feel, or get our teeth in this whole subject, and kind of get a feeling for it, we now start to understand the things we've seen that we've never understood before. It's impossible to understand before. Yeah, as long as they're third size or less, man.